are still angry with me. I, I don't know. Show up like this, you get me on this airplane, you try and seduce me to champagne and, and caviar and roses. I mean, Ollie, did, did you really think that this could solve anything? Well, fighting didn't solve anything. I needed to talk to you. Yeah, you're right. Fighting did not solve anything. You still, you don't get it. You don't see how important my career is to me. I do see that. But I think we're talking about more than just your career here. I think you're scared. Why, why would I be scared? I know as well as you do how quickly things happen between us. Maybe too much too soon. We lived through a very intense time, those two days in Barak. Because we were in the middle of a war, we said things and we did things that we wouldn't have done, or maybe for a couple of weeks or months under normal circumstances. Then we parted. Yeah, and then we were together again in Washington, D.C. And neither one of us really knew the other person. You don't trust me, do you? No. I want to trust you, Ollie. I'm just... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Trey. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm doing this. Where is all this coming from? <laughs> you heard your lot, didn't you? What? Trey Clay. Why do you say that? It's obvious someone's hurt you badly. My instincts tell me it was him. What happened? Another woman? Yes. But it was someone that he knew before me, someone he was in love with long before we were ever married or even engaged. thought that she left him and actually she went to have his child she had a little boy he married you <sighs> you loved him very much yes I did I don't pretend to understand this man but Trey Clegg was a fool Worse, his betrayal has destroyed something in you, Sloan. <sighs> Hear me. I will never hurt you. I am not Trey Clegg. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Yes. What we need right now is trust. I will not have Trey Clegg or the memory of Trey Clegg interfering with that trust. Excuse me, Your Highness. I uh, just thought you want to know uh, we're about to be in our descent to Los Angeles International Airport, and you'll have to fasten your seatbelts. I know what you're thinking. What happens in Los Angeles? He has some very in intensive interviews to conduct, I believe. But then you'll do your work. Come back here and I'll give you a lift home. <laughs> <laughs> 